Hi everyone, it's Camille. I am a comedy writer, filmmaker, actress, director, producer, multi-hyphenate, and I am an independent filmmaker at the moment, but strive to get on up there. But at the moment, I am an indie filmmaker, and I want to talk to you about these smart light bulbs, specifically the Philips Hue smart bulb, which I have been using in my filmmaking. I put them in an Ikea, like a big globe, a dome, and it acts as a perfect, cheap, soft box alternative. It gets this nice, glowy, soft light, and I love it. However, recently, it stopped working. <laughs> I went to do something on my phone, and I had to reconnect, and then all of a sudden, it was no longer there, and I couldn't connect it through the Philips Hue skills. It just wasn't working through Amazon, it just wasn't working. So I contacted Amazon, no help. I contacted Philips, no help. I went on YouTube, did the tutorials, didn't work. I have an Echo, not the Echo Plus or the other one that has like what they claim is supported where you don't need the bridge. And this, this new message was coming up stating that I needed a bridge or a hub, which cost $60, by the way, in order to operate a light that was functioning but minutes ago. This can't be right. Like, this was literally just working. Why would I need to buy a $60 bridge? What's this bridge and tunnel foolishness? I'm not falling for it. So, like I said, I kept searching, I kept digging. I tried installing all of these other smart home skills apps. They weren't working. They couldn't find the bulbs. What's going on? And everyone was saying in order to pair it, you basically had to get it to flash on and off. And my bulb wasn't doing that. I was turning it off and on and off and on, holding it down for a second, and then go for two seconds, and doing all this nonsense. My apartment looked like the inside of a nightclub. <laughs> this is a strobing light. It was crazy. And it still wouldn't flash or pair. So I couldn't figure out what to do. But... I eventually did, despite my husband thinking that I was crazy and that I should give up because it was basically Philip's way of screwing its customers by disabling this Echo app and forcing us to purchase the bridge. I wasn't going to do that. So the trick is I'm going to walk you through it and then I'm going to show you on my screen, but I am not going to unpair and repair because... I don't want to risk it. But what I did in order to get this thing to work was I went into my Amazon Alexa app and you have to do this through the Echo. Like if you don't have an Echo Plus, it's fine. If you just have a regular Echo, I believe the Echo has some type of built-in hub to it. It's just the, the regular Echo, Echo Studio. That's what I have. So I don't have the bridge. I don't have the hub, the tunnel, whatever. You go into your devices and you click add device. Okay, you've probably done that a million times. You're like, okay, what's new? You add the device, then you're gonna go on the top right hand corner and click that question mark. Then you're gonna scroll down the text to where it says, how do I put my Zigbee device into pairing mode? And you're gonna click where it says here. You can find instructions to put a Zigbee device into pairing mode here. You're gonna click here. And then you're going to scroll on down till you see Reset Philips Hue Light. And you're going to click Reset Philips Hue Light. And it's going to ask you for a serial number. And if you look on your bulb, you'll see the serial number. It's going to start with an A, more than likely. And it's six letters and numbers that you're going to be putting in six characters, serial number that you're going to put in, and then you're going to click continue. Now, you're like, I've done this already. Uh, no. The trick, the trick that no one else was mentioning on these YouTube tutorials and things was that the bulb, your smart bulb, needs to be inches away from your Echo device. What I was doing was putting it in my light that was in a globe, it was enclosed, like I said, and it wasn't finding it. Then I screwed it into something kind of 
more like this, as you can see. And, but it was across the room, and it wasn't working <laughs> because it was too far. But the moment that I put this really, really close to my echo, and then I put in the serial number and I had it search for it, it found it. It found it with no glow, no hub or bridge necessary. None of that was necessary. Now, this trick just saved you at least $60. So how you can return the favor, how you can thank me is to drop a couple of those dollars that you would have wasted on a bridge, a tunnel, a hub. You, maybe you were just about to break down and buy one, or maybe you were thinking that your 20 odd dollar bulbs that you've used to outfit your entire apartment are all useless unless you break down and buy your hub. That money that you were gonna spend, I'm gonna ask you to throw a couple of those dollars my way for my next film project. Yes, I am shooting a feature next. It's a rom-com about a girl who goes to Ireland with her boyfriend for the holidays. Yeah, it's a Christmas holiday rom-com. And anything that you can spare that I just saved you in dollar bills, please send it my way. I will put my Venmo and my Zelle and everything on down below this video. And you can show your appreciation by sending me a nice donation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this works for you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll do my best to tell you what I did. Uh, but yeah, that's the trick. Get this bulb inches away from your echo. Put the serial number in, it'll find it. Thanks for watching.